Hi kids, morning. Today's uh, drawing lesson will not be a drawing lesson at all. It will be a scissor cutting lesson. So we are gonna be taking different colored paper and we are gonna be cutting it up to make an abstract drawing or collage or whatever you'd like to call it. And we're gonna be thinking about an artist. His name is Donald Odita. So he was originally from Nigeria. And when he was young, he moved to America. He's been here a long time. He's American, just like you and I. And he does really famous wall murals that are abstract. They're all about color and geometric shapes. They're really beautiful. So we're gonna, instead of painting them, because he does huge, large scale murals, we're gonna do a smaller, downsized version by cutting up different colored construction paper and gluing it down onto another colored piece of paper. If you're at home and you don't have any construction paper, well, you can just cut out from magazines or wherever you might see colored paper. So try not to cut out images as much, just try to find areas that might be colorful. Okay, and that's it. Then we're gonna go over to my desk and I'll show you how to cut out the pieces and glue them down. Okay, have fun with this guys, bye. Hi guys. Okay, so today we're gonna be making an abstract painting out of different colored paper by cutting instead of drawing or painting. So I have chosen three different colors. So these colors all pretty much look good together. I'm gonna to choose one of the colors as my base paper that I'm gonna glue the other pieces down on. So I think I'm gonna choose yellow as my base. So this couldn't be any easier and this really has no right way to do it, but I will give you a few ideas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first piece of paper. I've got these two that I'm gonna cut up and then glue down onto the yellow one. I'm gonna start with purple and all I'm really doing is cutting a series of geometric shapes. So I often like to do triangular shapes for this. Do you have to do triangular shapes? No, but it looks really good when they're kind of long. So maybe you could do kind of a zigzag. It's really up to you what you wanna do. And then, okay, so you have your first two shapes. Well, this one has a straight line here since it was the edge of the paper. So I'm gonna use that by pressing it up against the side. So you'll notice I'm not gluing yet. The reason is, is because first you wanna just slide your pieces that you've cut out around and just see what looks nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut out a couple more shapes. So you can make curved shapes, you can make straight shapes. It's really up to you and there is no wrong answer. Okay, so now I've got three shapes. Now I'm gonna switch to my second color, which is kind of an aqua marine. So here I'm just cutting out a couple more triangles. Don't overthink the cutting out because the important part is after you've cut out these shapes is how you place them on the paper. So you can really just experiment with this. It's abstract. You don't have to make it look a certain way. It's really just what you find pleasing. So you can really do anything. It's fun and it's really relaxing to do art this way when you don't have to worry about making something. 
that looks like an object in the real world. You're really just using your imagination. So I'm gonna make a curved line with the purple here. Now you'll notice that I've only got three colors. I've got the base color, yellow, and I've got this green, blue, and purple. Now, you don't have to limit yourself. And in fact, when you look at the lesson plan of Donald Odita's work, he uses many different colors and they look just beautiful together. So it really depends on the material you have. Now, I know we all left school early and you may not have colored construction paper. Don't worry about it. If you have any magazines, you can cut up images, maybe you can find a large area that is just colored, and you can use that. You can really use anything, okay? And if you don't have magazines, well, you could just draw with markers and make these similar kind of designs, okay? So I'm just gonna do a few more. Let's see. So you can make this as simple or as complicated as you want, it's really up to you. So I'm kind of doing some greens, then purple, and I'm mixing it up. Now, sometimes you'll look at it and you'll think, well, this area is kind of empty. Maybe I'll add another little shape in there. So I'm gonna cut something smaller out since this is a smaller area. Maybe just like that. Okay, so I don't really need to do the whole thing for you guys. This is a great start. And remember, there is no right way to do this. This is just experimenting, cutting stuff up, seeing how it looks in relation to the other colors. So really have fun with it. Just make it a relaxing, piece of artwork to make. Okay? Just have fun with it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.